Hi guys, this is a video response for Crafty Lori's ATC challenge. Um, you basically had to create an ATC, but it was a two-sided ATC and there's specific measurements that um, she's asking for because she's going to bind these or um, she's going to put them into like a mini album that she's creating. So if you're interested in joining this challenge, I'm going to link um, the video in the description box down below and it's open until October 17th. So you have about two weeks to, to create the ATC and send it off to Lori. Um, it is a challenge and there's a prize. It's a PayPal prize. I think it's a $20 PayPal um, is, is, you know, what you can win. So check that out. I'm going to link it down below. It was really fun to make. This is the ATC I created for her. Um, the base is just craft colored cardstock. And then... I layered it. Let me pull out the, um, this is the paper pad that I used for the base color, which was this stripey one. And on the back, that um, diamond print one came from this authentic pad called Enchanted. So I used this pattern and I used this like newspaper print with the stripes. And then, um, so what I did was distress a piece of that, um, Paper for the background and then I used some cut aparts from this um, Raven Head, Raven's Head Manor, this new Michael's, um, this Recollections Halloween 6x6 pad. So there's a sheet with cut aparts. Let's see. Um, and it looks like this. There's just a bunch of like labels and things. And then there was one with um, some like old timey newspaper. So I used those um, pieces of that pad and I cut apart one piece of um, the newspaper print and I distressed it. And then what I did was I curled up the bottom so that it would look like vintagey, like it was curled up and I just distressed it to make it look old. It's distressed up here as well. And I cut out some of those pieces from that pad and some more of the newspaper and I just distressed all of them. This one I, I popped up on a 3D like foam dot. And then in the background here, if you can see this, it's actually, uh, let me show you, like a skeleton leaf like this that I had purchased a while ago. I have a few of them left. And I just inked it with some Tim Holtz Distress to make it a darker color. And I just put that in the background. I put the little pieces on top. I used an alloy, um, like a, um, a metal arrow here and then I just have some gems and some pearls and I used some brown and beige twine and I went through because I know she has to um, slide this onto the mini album so I just went through on the front this was actually supposed to be the back of the ATC but I liked how it came out so much that I feel like this is the front <laughs> and then you could decorate the back as well so originally this was going to be the front but I think it's the back now because the other side to me is cuter. Um, and I, again, just distressed some of that authentic paper. Here I used some washi. Um, there's some gems. There's some mesh glitter gold ribbon. And then I used some little cards um, that I cut apart from that authentic pad. So there was a sheet in here as well with the little playing cards. And I cut out um, all four of the kings. And I distressed them and I just pasted them like a poker hand there because I thought that matched nicely with the checkerboard background. And then this is just a little ticket from one of those $1.50 bin Michael things. And it says the best is yet to come. I distressed that. I used a little crown charm here and a little fleur de lis um, charm here, metal charm. And then there's some more gems on this one as well. So that was how my ATC came out. Laurie, I hope you like it. I'm going to be sending it off this week. Um, and guys, definitely check out the challenge. This was really fun to make um, and very easy. You just have to score the, the strip at a specific um, length and it will fold over and make a perfect um, like two ATC piece. So yes, definitely go check out that giveaway. And um, let, me, let me know what you guys think of how my ATC came out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.